This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Hey guys, it's the Indie Mayhem Show. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studio here in Pittsburgh, PA. This is a show where we talk with people in and around independent professional wrestling. And uh, we got a return guest. Um, we'll get to him in just a moment. But in the meantime, please go check out everything at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Subscribe to the Indie Mayhem Show on iTunes, iTunes Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, and of course, video versions on the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook and YouTube page. And uh, please also look out for the Wrestling Mayhem Show Super Feed if you want to get all of the wrestling stuff that are, we are doing in the podcast form wherever fine podcasts are sold. And uh, of course, again, hit us up at Mayhem Show on the Facebook page for Wrestling Mayhem Show or IndieWrestling.us where this stuff also comes up and streams. And look for uh, future interviews and events over on both those Facebook pages as well. Because you never know when they're going to pop up just like tonight. And popping up back in the studio, I think this was making you a three time. This is a three time. A three time. Three time. Three time by the two time. Yes, Jackson Argos. Put that on a T-shirt. Is back in the studio, and if you're on audio, he is definitely um, decorated again. Um, yeah. If, if got... you're only listening, yeah, I mean, check this out. I know the, for those of you that can't see me, I, I will, and for those that can see me, you're welcome. We have our amazing. Uh, we got some jewelry today, so you can take a look at that. Look, look at know. that. That's the uh, remix tag team championship. Is it that? Is. There it is. It is. You are in the presence of a champion. That's a good looking belt. I'm a good looking guy. Uh, we also have my fantastic Canadian flag. We have the first ever promo shot that I, I ever took. This was, this was by Mr. Andy Bloxham, a fantastic photographer. We, ha- we have uh, other things, other rewards. We have the briefcase that Team Storm won in our ladder match. It's just there's everything here, everything you could ever ask for. And, and of course, my, my prized possessions, my rookie of the year trophies, something no one will ever have, something no one will ever duplicate. The only duplication here was I went from one to two, but good luck ever accomplishing that, people of the world. And I do apologize because we did um, we do have a little bit of um, uh, Shawn Michaels in your shot a little bit. I apologize for that. He's a very I, he's first probably, of all he's probably the most anti Canada thing that yeah. And, and I do my research. I know what I'm getting into, and I know when Shawn Michaels here, and I, I had brought something to take care of Mr. Shawn Michaels. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this. We're just gonna handle this. Oh, right oh now. there he goes. He's uh he's taking it. Michaels, the best way we can. Uh, he's been very maple leafed. Okay. Uh there yeah. he goes. That's how that's done. Shawn Michaels has never looked better. You wanna put that in your nose? Okay. Well now now that we've taken care of Shawn Michaels, there will be no more sticking of flags up noses. There will no be there will be no more disrespect to Canada. The focus tonight is me. You're all so welcome. Welcome to the, do you want to call it the, can, should we call it the Argatron studio tonight? Is, is it, it's my studio now, right? I, I, I have producer Missy, can we call it Argatron Media? Can we call it Argatron Media twice? Two time Argatron, Argatron Media you, in you, the house? You are technically a three time guest. I am a three time guest. That makes me feel old. It, old? I'm not old. I mean, we have young done, at heart. You, I don't think we've done it annually necessarily, but hmm. I, I assume I'll be back. So three times, four times, five times, I'm going to be back at this place. Every time I feel like taking over and making it the Argatron Studio, I'm going to call you and tell you that we're doing it, and then we're going to do it. So but, okay, that seems to be the way. It, that it's seems, that's going. how it works. Yeah, that's what happens. I don't. I don't just come in here for anybody. I do like you, Sorg. You're a great guy. I, lo- I love everything that the Sorg is is to do for me here. See, look at all this. This is this is fantastic. I'm so happy. I, I'm I'm in I'm in such a role lately. That's why I'm so happy to be here. I've been on a on a hot streak. I've been winning everywhere. I've been doing everything great. I feel better. I I I, I just feel great. And I'm happy to be here. The last time I came here, I got pretty angry. I got, I got a little pissy, and I, I stormed off. But, you know, I feel so great tonight. We're heading into the Super Indie Tournament. We're heading into the summer, first of all. 
I'm a champion. I'm a winner. I feel as though I can do no wrong. I mean, come on. Anyway, I don't even know. We got a chat room going on. I assume people are saying things and complimenting me. I'm going to check the phone as much as I can. I'll, I'll answer questions. I'll, you know, we'll go off on that. But really, as long as the focus is on me tonight, that's all I care about. And I think, I think that's fair to focus on me when I'm in the Argatron studio. Right. So, so let's talk about some of your successes. I, I saw the pictures for Remix. Obviously, you got the belt with you tonight, the tag team championship. Uh, uh, tell us a little bit about like uh, uh, a very uh, uh, huge team storm representing at Remix uh, 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 just a, a few weeks ago. The greatest thing about this is not only did I win this with my best friend, R.C. Dupree, we won this for Jack Pollock. And not only did we win it for Jack Pollock, and not only did we win this at Remix, we won this our very first night in the company, ladies and gentlemen. It was our first time ever in Marietta, Ohio, our first ever match with Remix Pro Wrestling. And Jackson Argos and R.C. Dupree and Jack Pollock got to raise our hands high as your new... Remix Pro Tag Team Champions. Again, as, as I mentioned before, I'm, I'm on a hot streak right now. And that's just one of the many things I've been up to. I've been all over a high, all over, all over the, the, I guess the buzzword is the tri-state area. So I don't see any end in sight. And I feel like I'm just going to keep winning championships everywhere I go. And I think, I, you know, I think if I check my schedule, the next the next championship I'm going to win would be the International Wrestling Cartel Super Indie Championship. So I already have a place dusted off on my mantle right next to this and right next to these. So, wow. I, I think it, normally I would pick on people for, you know, what's that old expression? Don't jump on the bandwagon. You don't want to be a bandwagon fan. I encourage that. If you aren't on the Jackson Argos bandwagon by now, I mean, come on. And, and here's the thing. Here's the, I just want everyone to know. If you're new to the show, if you're new to Jackson Argos, if you're tuning in and witnessing me for the first time, you're going to face a lot of disagreements on that one. A lot of people are going to tell you I'm wrong. are going to tell you he's a loser. He's not going to win. He's not going to this. He's not going to that. Allow me to explain that a plethora of people said that I couldn't do this. A plethora of people said that I couldn't win this. And a plethora of people said I couldn't do it again. And I did it. And to make matters even better, we look at individual things in matches that I've done. When everybody said I couldn't beat Jonathan Gresham one-on-one. -on -one. Sorg, what did I do? Uh, there's definitely some, some wins in your column there. I pinned him. And then everyone said... Well, you cheated. And I said, yeah. And I won. And they said, well, you can't do it again. You can't do anything twice. <laughs> and then I, I beat him again. And now I have to beat him again in the Super Indie Tournament. So like I said, it's, it's just been win after win. So all of you people that are wondering and you want to check my credentials before you buy the t-shirt, before you go to Pro Wrestling Tease.com slash Jackson Argos. You want to check and see if I'm worth the money, if it's worth the investment. I could send you a resume, but it's so much easier just to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, at Jackson Argos, and just see for yourself. I'm a champion. I'm a winner. I'm the guy to get behind. And if you disagree, you're, you're wrong. You're just wrong. It's facts. Facts, people, and wrestling wins and losses matter, and I win. So let's talk about the tournament a little bit here. Uh, Super Indie, this is the uh, the seventeenth uh, iteration of it, and uh, it, it's it's definitely something where a lot of people have been through. There was a graphic that just went up on IWC a few days ago about guys like CM Punk have been a part of it, AJ Styles, Sami Zayn. Uh, Kalisto has been a part of it. Um, you know, uh, Logan Chulo or Elias has been part of it as well. Um, it's it's got a heck of a lineage going into it. It's got an even better lineage now. Look at who you have this year, and what what I admire and what I love. I love looking at everyone who's been there in the past, and I look at who is there this year. 
and, I, and I'm not going to beat around the bush. I read what people say. I know what everyone thinks. I, yes, I weaseled my way into this tournament. And I know that people aren't exactly happy about that. They, they, they see the eight names on the card and they say, one of these things is not like the other. A guy who hasn't even been wrestling for two years, a guy that shows up, runs his mouth, makes everybody angry, has not proven a thing, a guy who doesn't deserve to be in this tournament, is in this tournament? I did what was best for me. I did what was smart for my career. And when I go into this tournament and everybody is looking at me is the guy who shouldn't be there, it's going to be hilarious when they wake up Sunday morning and they all say, I can't believe he won the whole damn thing. And then we'll see when we look back and we, and we, all, we all get to rejoice again this time next year and say, look at the list of names that have been in this tournament. And everyone looks at me and they say, oh my, Jackson Argos was in this tournament before. I'm going to be one of those guys. I'm not going to be one of the eight that everyone looks at and says he shouldn't have been. They're going to look at and say, I can't believe he wasn't in earlier. Well, let's look at this. Um, um, we'll throw up a poster here so you guys can kind of get an idea who's going to be a part of this. Uh, guys like Joey Janela, guys like Ethan Page, last um, um, being announced here, part of Impact Wrestling, uh, Anthony Henry, uh, you know, David Starr, and uh, and then you and Gresham and, and there as well. Uh, what do you and of course the current champion Gory. Um, so looking past your first, and we'll get back to your your first match against Gresham here in a moment. Like who from that are you one most interested in being across the ring from, or maybe even most worried about? First of all, the only guy I would ever be worried about in this entire card would be Jack Pollock, who's wrestling Shane Taylor. Mm -hmm. that evening. That's the only name. Jack Pollock is the only name on the card that makes me go, oh, I wouldn't want to mess with that guy. A, because he's one of my best friends, and B, because he's a stud muffin. But, as far as the tournament goes, I'm not worried about a single person. And not to say that I don't understand how good they are. I know what every single one of those guys are capable of. They're phenomenal. Like you said, you've touted the, the Ring of Honors, the TNAs, the Impact Wrestling, all these great companies they work I think, for. I think every company, every company represented it on this show. Yeah. Uh, I'm fully WWE. aware yeah. of everyone else's resume. I knew what I got myself into. So, no, I'm not worried. I'm looking forward to it because, again, I thrive in situations where everybody says he can't do it, he won't do it, he's not better, and he's not good enough. This is a tournament where the, I don't want to say underdogs win from time to time. Um, Dylan Bostic, I think, is somebody that sticks out as somebody that, you know, going against the Ray Rose and everything like that. So there's a lot of, like, potential here for uh, you to run away with this. I'm sorry. Are, are you saying that I'm the underdog in this tournament? Do you think that, too? Or are you just like the rest that seem to think? Can, can we just for a minute? Now, I didn't want to have to be this guy. I didn't want to have to be the one to run through these things. But, but, but is what makes me an underdog because I've only been doing this for, I don't know, less than two years? Is that, is that the biggest thing? My lack of experience? I have done more in my first two years of professional wrestling than a lot of people ever thought I would do in an entire lifetime, okay? So if we really want to sit here and poke fun and everybody wants to say, I'm an underdog, I haven't done anything, I haven't this, I haven't that, why don't you check my resume? Talk to guys like Jerry Lawler. Talk to guys that I've gotten in the face of. Talk to guys like Ryback, like Ricky Steamboat, the Rock and Roll Express, Al Snow, Jack Swagger. Talk to those guys. Hell, talk to Lance Storm, the man that trained me. Talk to every single one of those guys that looked across the ring and said I was nothing. You really want to you want to talk to me like I'm going to sit here and accept the role as an underdog? No. Why don't we look at everybody else in this tournament for a second and realize the amount of experience across the board 
That's an extraordinary library for me to dissect. I can watch matches. I can watch full careers of every single guy. I have so much to study. And you know what? You think only having a year and a half of a library, you think that's a bad thing? No. Because nobody, aside from Jonathan Gresham, has been in the ring with me that's in this tournament. I can watch everything they've done. I can find every weakness they've ever had. I'm a chameleon. I will adapt to my surroundings. They have no idea what to expect. I'm not the freaking underdog. I'm the most dangerous man in this tournament. Got some questions from the chat room. I want to get, and yeah, hopefully don't get you too riled up here. Uh, Cody wants to ask, who would you like to beat in the, to win the entire tournament? Who would be the, other than, of course, go, getting past Gresham in the first round, uh, you know, who would be the, 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 the biggest one that you think would be the biggest victory to hold that title over? So you're saying, who would I like to meet in the finals, Cody? Yes. And that's from Cody out there. Well, Cody, to be honest, it really doesn't matter to me. One of the guys I would love to meet in the finals, I would love to meet Gory in the finals. Why? Because he's so beloved in this area. The pit, we're in the Pittsburgh area, aren't we? We all love Gory here, don't we? I would love nothing more than for him to feel as if he's going to take that championship all the way through. I would love for him to go into the finals thinking, well, I saw this kid when he first showed up. I got a cakewalk through this. And then you know what's going to happen, Gory? I would take that championship right away from you, right when you felt like you were going to walk in and walk out with it. So, God, that would... That would be my answer, Cody. Uh, also from the chat room, uh, we have... Oh, let me bring it up. Uh, Tom's asking, I'm hearing a lot of me, me, me. Uh, have you have to wonder how Dupree feels about being the third wheel in his this whole equation? Uh, who, RC, got to give a shout out. It had an amazing showing in that ladder match against Wardlow a few weeks ago in Clearfield. Um, definitely recommend you guys seeing uh, him in action there. Uh, but uh, yeah, he's not on the card here. But yeah, of course, Jack is uh, Jack Pollock is represented against Shane Taylor. Taylor, um, where does he fit in all this? So uh, where, where, where's RC Dupree's shot in Super Indy? First of all, the reason RC Dupree is hung up is completely ridiculous. Did you watch RC Dupree versus Wardlow? Did you see what happened? First of all, a match that evolved into a ladder match that shouldn't have happened. It was it was decided, what, an hour before the yeah, show? It was, it was the afternoon. It was an hour before I, it even happened. And you stick R.C. Dupree in a dangerous match like that? Ridiculous. The guy is hurt, he is sore, and he needs a night off. He's going to be there. He's going to be cheering on his best friend. But it's the, the, the reason that he's hurt right now is completely unacceptable, and that is on Justin Plummer's shoulders. So for those of you that would love... To witness R.C. Dupree live, you have the opportunity, just not in the ring, because of Justin Plummer putting his employees in dangerous environments and situations. Thank you. It going right along with that, Justin is asking, uh, are you worried about Plummer screwing you over somehow in the tournament? Looking at what happened with R.C.? <sighs> Justin Plummer is already trying to screw me over by... Have, have we not noticed that the only person who has told who their opponent is already is, is me? Everyone, everybody else involved in Super Indy, they just know they're involved in the tournament. And yet I get told that I have to go against Jonathan Gresham, a man that I've already put in the path. For, first of all, I would also like to point out, I'm surprised Jonathan Gresham's even capable of making the tournament after what I did to his leg. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie, guys. I tried to break it. So I'm, I'm honestly disappointed of all the success I've had. The only failure I've had this year is I didn't break Jonathan Gresham's leg. I was that close. I was that close. And he has been suffering. He's been on the mend from that too, right? Oops. My bad. So yeah, John, Justin Plummer's already trying to stick his nose in my business. He's already trying to punish Team Storm. And, and like I said, get well soon, RC. I love you. This kind of behavior is just despicable, and I would never do anything this despicable to anybody. I'm a good person. I, I, I mean, I, I, am not, I don't mean to pat myself on the back, but pat, pat. I just, I just can't believe the kind of person he's being to such three great Calgarian exports such as Team Storm. It's, it's unbelievable. From our man uh, Bobby F. J-Town in the chat, he's, ask, he's asking, are you hoping Jeff Cobb does not morph into Matanza? 
I'm not worried about Jeff Cobb. I honestly would love nothing more than to square up with Jeff Cobb. And I'm sure everybody's rolling their eyes. I can feel people rolling their eyes at that comment. Again, just like everybody rolls their eyes when I say I can do something. And it would be fantastic to watch everyone go, oh my God, I never thought I'd see the day that Jackson Argos beats Jeff Cobb. Oh, I should probably go write about this on my blog. Oh, I would like, I can't wait for that. It'd be fantastic. I'd love to read your crappy blog and not comment on it and just sit at home and go, this is a crappy blog. So no, I'm not worried about dealing with Jeff Cobb. I'm actually, kind of, I'm actually kind of surprised you don't have a blog. I don't, I don't need a blog. I need a microphone. I don't like to type. I, I get bored typing. It, it, you do the thing and this and that, and then you do the, 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 the. If I had a carrier pigeon, possibly, but I, I just don't really feel the need to, to you know, text, textualize, textualize my words. Mm-hmm. I'd rather verbalize. I'd rather talk. Give me a microphone. If someone else, if I, oh, I would love, wouldn't it be fantastic if I could get like a little fast typer to sit here and just type everything I say? A stenographer? Oh, sure. God bless you. Um, that would just be the most fantastic thing ever. We should get that the next time I'm here. And then people could actually order the transcript and read it. And we could sell it and people could buy it. And then that would be their Sunday reading when they're sitting on their picnic and the warm Pro- Pittsburgh sun. Probably an appropriate question here. Cullen's in the chat room asking, uh, who is your biggest idol besides yourself and Jack, of course? And I guess probably also and RC, right? Took my answer right away. Yeah. Are we, are we, are we talking about my, my biggest idol in professional wrestling or just in life in general? Uh, we need to be specific If you here. got one of each, I'll hear it. Of course. God, can I get your money's worth while I'm here, Thor? God. Uh, overall, Godzilla. I mean, who... That would be like... I mean, who beats Godzilla? Oh, that, well, that's life and, real here. That's life and wrestling, right? Well, yeah. yeah. I, that's my dream match, to be honest. I, 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 as, as much as I love Godzilla, if I had a chance to go one-on-one, there would be a lot of you know respect passed across the ring if I were to ever wrestle Godzilla. Maybe Super Indy 18. God, if only. If only. We'll see. We'll make it happen somehow. I don't know. The real thing we need to make happen is somehow get me involved in King Kong versus Godzilla that comes out in 2020. Get me in that. Who knows somebody? Where's Justin Labar? Call somebody. I don't know. Somebody. Anyway, my biggest idol in professional wrestling besides Jack Pollock, R.C. Dupree, and probably you know Lance Storm. I can't count Lance Storm because he trained me. So, oh boy, um, maybe Judy Bagwell, maybe, but. I'm just, ah, that's tough. Between Judy Bagwell and Miss NWO, it's tough. I don't know. Miss NWO? Yeah. From the sold out pay-per-view? Yeah. It's tough. Between the, the two. The like elderly biker chick? Yeah. Wasn't it? I aspire to be as inspirational as those two women. I don't know. I'll have to think about that and I'll get back to you guys. But for right now, that would, I, I'm going to go with dual answer there. Miss NWO and Judy Bagwell. I think this is something from WrestleMania weekend, but uh, uh, and I don't know why he's asking you this, but Cody wants to know if you think Janela is worried about the Invisible Man showing up. Is he a secret member of Team Storm? If that okay, if that were the case, would I tell you? Come on, why would I tell you my strategies anyway? So so dumb, dumb question. I'm not, ask Joey Janela if he's worried. Why would you ask me? I said I can't answer for Joey Janela. Come on. There's always one in every chat room. Come on. God. Yes. Uh, Bobby FJ Town says he would have gone with Pete Gas. Mm, I don't know, man. I don't know. That's tough. Mean, mean Street Posse was pretty mean. No, I'm still sticking with my original answer. Don't try and contradict me. Don't tell me what I should answer. My answers are my answers. See, Kyle's in here. He's saying... Um... He says your arm is on the mend. Are you worried about that with Jonathan Gresham? Also, justice for Jenny. Um, hashtag justice for the plumbers. Hashtag type out. Hashtag the streak is over. Yes. All right. My shoulder is wrapped up. I'm a little banged up from my submission match with Jonathan Gresham. Congratulations. Kudos. If you were playing I Spy, you found one of the items. You found that my arm is taped up and it's not feeling so well. Let's think about this for a minute, though. I'm still here. I'm still fully capable of breaking Gresham's leg. I'm not wearing a brace. I'm hurt. And what he did to my arm did not feel so great. So, yes, I'm on the mend and rehabbing. But here's the thing. I was rehabbing in Clearfield, and I took the night off. So I'm smart. 
I'm thinking this through. I'm planning long term. So again, yet another reason that you should get behind Jackson Argos and jump on the bandwagon. And don't hashtag me to death with your crappy feel bad for the plumber family stuff, okay? Feel bad for the Storm family. Jack Pollock never should have been fired. None of us should have ever been treated. My contract never should have even been on the line in the first place. So let's feel so bad for the plumber family. Justice for Janny. No, now you're just stealing things. You're stealing justice for Jack. That was our thing. Don't try and don't try and do, do all this. Feel bad for them. Jack Pollock's the victim here. This is victim shaming, is what this is. I don't, I don't need to deal with this. It's ridiculous. Um, another Justin is asking another team that's cool making, name, kid. There's a few Justins in here. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Um, another team that's been making a lot of headway up in uh, Cleveland. And I, I know you've popped up in Cleveland recently as well. We had a, a recent uh, video up about that. Maybe we'll get to that in a second. Um, he's asking, uh, will we see the production versus Team Storm in the future, do you think? Is that something you're looking forward to? The production versus Team Storm. Uh, uh, man, yeah, I have been asked about this a lot. The problem is... I've sent invitations for them to come to my home and fight me at my, my house, and, and they don't show up. It, it's weird. I would love to fight them. They just won't produce. And this is, for those who don't know, this is this. Oh, jeez. <laughs> of course, it's Magnum ah! CK, ah! Jimmy Jacobs, Derek Direction, a part of that faction. Derek Direction. The only direction is Derek Direction. You know, I would love for the only direction for the production to have to be toward the ring while myself, Jack Pollock, and R.C. Dupree are waiting for them. So I don't even remember what the question was, if we would do it, if we're looking forward to it, if we're scared of this and that, whatever. I I would absolutely 100% love to prove that Team Storm is the toughest group of guys in professional wrestling. I mean, that's just, that's just one man's opinion, you know. I can only produce so much. I got you again. Justin also wants to know, Sheets or Wobble? What was the question? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear Sheets you. or Wawa? Tim Hortons. We've gone over this. Come I think on. That's, that's an acceptable answer. That's, a, that's an amazing answer. Tim Hortons. Come on. Uh, What? Okay. Uh, follow me along with this one. This is from our friend Heel Bradley out there. You, I'm, I'm waving, waving at the people. crowd. Yeah. I'm a good person. <laughs> what? Who? Who? Uh, Heel Bradley's out there. Oh, of course he is. And he says, uh, as you're getting uh, into your first Super Indie tournament facing Jonathan Gresham in the first round, why do you think you look like an angry chipmunk? Why do I think I look like that? Because I don't think I look like that. Weird weird phrasing there, Bradley. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, sorry, everybody. Bradley's trying to be funny by trying to make fun of me by incorrectly typing comments. Good job. Good job, Bradley. You've tried to say that Jackson Argos looks like an angry chipmunk. Fantastic. What are we in fourth grade? We're calling people names now. Oh, oh, Jackson Argos is weird looking. He's just, you know what's funny? You can make fun of the way I look. You can, hell, you can even make fun of the way I wrestle. It doesn't matter because however I do it, I win anyway. So congratulations yet again. We're back to grade school, everybody. He'll, uh, what was it, Bradley? Oh, Bradley, good job. You made fun of Jackson Argos. Fantastic. Hey, go tell your mom her, din her dinner's getting cold. It's in the microwave. Next comment. Um, let's see. We'll, we'll probably take one or two more here. Um, let's see. There's a lot of garbage comments. Sorry about that. Um, what is your favorite match in IWC? And Colin also says no justice for Plummer. Good. What is my favorite match in yes. IWC? Yes. Oh, my God. Team Storm has done so much. I mean, I loved uh, Winner Takes All 2016, Team Storm versus Andrew Palace in a ladder match. I enjoyed Winner Takes All 2017 when I beat Jonathan Gresham. I, I, I just, there were so many. Uh, hmm, pretty sure there's a there's a long list of times that Jack Pollock beat Andrew Palace. Uh, those, those were good ones. We had it at high stakes. We had that it reloaded. Man, there's just, every every time I win, I mean favorite match if we're thinking about matches that didn't include me probably any match involving jack pollock and rc dupree i mean it's it's kind of an easy question really i was also a i was a big fan of katie arquette versus lefisto inside the steel cage oh, at cage geez. fury oh, uh geez. so if i if i can put that out there that did not involve any members of team storm but i i, I was thoroughly impressed on both ends of that matchup so that was a vicious vicious match it was good yeah. to see um 
Oh, I think we know that one. Uh, Bobby of J-Town. Uh, for some reason, he's asking. Uh, thinks you're going to know. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? You're at, I would assume in Calgary, waiting for me. Boom. You can't rattle me. You can't shake me. I'm going to have an answer for everything, people. Jeez, this is just this is becoming too easy. How about I ask you guys some questions here, huh? How, how about we do this? We'll revert. We're going to, you know, roll reverse with this. I'll ask the, the chat section. Uh, let's see. What, what, is your, what is your favorite thing about Jackson Argos? If you could describe me in one word, what would it be? If you could cast me in a movie, what would it be? If you could cast me in a remake, what would it be? Uh, we'll, we'll see how this works out. Then we'll start getting answers from the fans because it's all about appeasing the audience, right? Here's the funny thing. I'm not going to read a single thing of whatever any of you say. Sorg can read it all he wants. I truly don't care. I hate all of you. You you bug me, you bother me, and I hate you all. And I can't wait to shove this this Super Indie Championship down all of your throats the same way I'm going to shove this down all of your throats, the same way I'm going to shove my trophies down all of your throats, the same way I was able to shove that briefcase down all of your throats when we won that ladder match. So... I don't really care what any of you say or any of you think. It's going to be so fantastic to watch all of your children cry. It's going to be hilarious to watch. Can't wait to see divorce rates go through the roof when all the husbands go, I'll never be as cool as Jackson Argos, and all the wives go, you're right. Super Indy is going to cause so much damage to the city of Pittsburgh. It's unfreaking believable all because of me. Some great comments in the chat room, but I'll leave that for you to not read later. Yeah, I'm not um, reading it. I don't care. Yep, you can yep. read whatever you want. I don't care. I hate all of you. <laughs> it's uh, that, well, it's that simple. Super Indie, of course, is up here in a couple of weeks. Here, you can go check it out on uh, uh, at the Court Time Sports Center on uh, June 9th, and of course, tickets are available at iwcwrestling.com. Stay- you're not just you're not. You're not you're, hold on, I'm going to cut you off there because again, you're not buying tickets. For Super Indy, you are buying tickets for the first ever Super Argos tournament. And if you don't believe me, there are t-shirts. There are t-shirts. There are t-shirts 100% available at ProWrestlingTees.com slash Jackson Argos. It's, it's a thing, people. And, and the reason we're naming it Super Argos, of course, is because it's my first time ever in this tournament. And I'm going to win. And I have a fantastic, I guess it looks like we're starting to wrap things up a little bit. If I can say one more thing to the people at home that are contemplating whether or not they want to attend this tournament, that are contemplating whether or not I'm worth their time. I made a great analogy earlier to a friend of mine. He looked up and down and he looked at everybody that was involved in this match. And he said, No offense, what the hell are you doing with these other guys? And I appreciate that kind of criticism from friends. I appreciate that kind of honesty. And it made me laugh because I realized that everybody seems to have that opinion, right? Everybody seems to think that there's so much honor and prestige in this tournament. They look up and down the names of guys that have gone on to do bigger and better things. And they see my name, and it makes them sick. And everyone goes, they go on their little chat boards, they go on their little blogs, they go on their Facebook, their Twitters, their Instagram, and they all seem to focus on me and talk about how I shouldn't be there and how I don't freaking belong. And I made an analogy to my friend. I said, hey, do you remember a couple of years ago this movie came out? It's called The Dark Knight. And the internet went absolutely berserk because the Joker is Heath Ledger. And I'm pretty sure that almost every single person that went to the internet and complained about how he didn't belong, how the rest of that cast was so good and so talented But Heath Ledger just didn't belong there. And then he went on to redefine that role. He went on to steal that whole freaking movie. The same way I'm going to not only steal the tournament, I'm going to steal the Super Indie Championship. And I can't wait 
Until Sunday morning, those same people that hid behind their keyboards, they hid behind their phones, they hid behind everything to say, I didn't belong, that the name Jackson Argo shouldn't be on that card. Those same people that come on June 9th to the Super Indy Tournament, they're going to wake up Sunday morning, and I would hope, I don't care if they say it to me, all they have to do is think it. Every single one of them are going to have to apologize and admit they were wrong and admit that they had no idea what they were about to witness. And then, after they're done apologizing... I expect every single one of them to walk up to me after I've shined up my new championship and I want them to thank me the same way people thanked Heath Ledger for the performance of a lifetime. I'll see every single one of you losers on June 9th. Jackson Argos, thank you so much for coming back and uh, redecorating the studio, of course. Appreciate it. Good luck in the tournament. I know you don't think you need it. I'm not going to need it. Nope. The but only thing I'm going to need after that tournament's over is I'm going to need some polish for my trophies and for my championship. And if people want to check out, uh, I'd say most of your career, at least with IWC, you can check that out, of course, over at uh, IndieWrestling.us. And, uh, of course, past uh, Super Indies, including this one, will be released there as well. And I uh, look forward to uh, hopefully an announcement here about some other ways you can watch Super Indie. Where can people find you online? Hopefully everywhere. Instagram, Twitter, at J-A-X-O-N-A-R-G-O-S. Follow, share. Like I said, get on the bandwagon now, people. I'm, I'm done screwing around. It's time. It's time to get pretty, pretty real here. I'm going to break Jonathan Gresham at Super Indy. So, you know, you should probably go follow him, too. Because after this tournament's over, he, he, you know, it's going to be like a collector's item having any of Jonathan Gresham's things. So you, sh- you should go to ProWrestlingTees.com slash Jackson Argus and ProWrestlingTees.com Jonathan Gresham and maybe order some collectibles is what they're going to be after this tournament's over. And then go you know, follow your, your Jeff Cobbs and your Gorys and your Ethan Page and your Anthony Henry and Joe Janellas. Fo- follow all of those guys. Because after this tournament's over, they're going to be talking about me. And you'll want to tag those guys to let them know that they should check out my library now. And they need, should probably study. But yeah, at Jackson Argos, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all that cool stuff. ProWrestlingTees.com slash Jackson Argos. All right. Thanks a lot for joining us. And thank you, everybody, joining us in the chat room and checking us out later, of course. Uh, please subscribe to Indie Mayhem Show on wherever you like to check out your podcasts or videos uh so you don't miss an episode of this we got some great stuff coming up in the next couple of weeks some good interviews and check out the entire back catalog of course on your podcast device uh we we got uh well over 200 interviews with a bunch of awesome people and including at least two other ones with jackson argo so if this is your first time checking him out i know there's a few uh that are experiencing you for the first time here in the chat room on the live feed and again keep an eye on indie wrestling.us and wrestling man show facebook page for events facebook live events for when we do do these so you can be a part of the chat room and uh the regular wrestling mayhem show every uh tuesday at 9 p.m eastern time on the wrestling man show facebook page thanks jackson for joining us thank you everybody in the chat room until next time please support indie wrestling and support Canada. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.